You've received your wireless adapter from Cuboid Developments for your Dymo Label Writer 4XL, and inside your package, you should have your wireless adapter, your memory card reader, and inside you should have your memory card. The first step is to tell the wireless adapter which Wi-Fi router it should connect to. If you have asked us to pre-set up your Wi-Fi details, you can skip this step. So find out your Wi-Fi name and the password that you usually use when you connect to your Wi-Fi and have that on standby. You usually get a little card with your router which will have your Wi-Fi network name and your Wi-Fi password. This is one I've just made up for the video. So let's make sure our memory card is inserted all the way into the memory card reader. It's got one of the push-pull clicks. It just clicks in and out like that. So let's make sure it's clicked all the way in. And now let's plug the memory card reader into our Android device. This memory card reader has three different connection types. The USB-C type, normal USB port, and the normal USB port snaps open like this into the micro USB, which is the one I'm going to be using for this Android phone. It's a very tight fitting, so make sure your phone case is removed so that this metal ledge here is flush with the device. Which connector you use on the memory card reader will vary depending on which device you have. This memory card reader will work with micro USB and the new USB-C connectors. It also has the standard USB port, so if you have an Apple device, you can still set up your Wi-Fi details via a PC. Also, you may need to remove your device's case or cover to make sure that the memory card reader is plugged in all the way. The connector will be very tight since it's brand new, so you may find rocking it from side to side that will help get it in so it sits flush. If your device says there's a problem with the card and that you should format it, you should choose no or cancel to this message, and the device will allow you to continue. Once your memory card reader is plugged in with a memory card fully inserted, we now need to download a free app which will let us enter your Wi-Fi name and password onto the memory card. So go to your Play Store or whichever store your device usually uses to download apps and search for Old School Editor. And it's the one with this old style icon. Tap on this and tap Install. Once it has finished installing, tap open. Your device will ask you to allow permissions for the app to alter files. Tap yes or approve, or in this case, allow. And then old school editor will ask you to choose Android or classic. This doesn't really matter as it'll only change the next time we open the app and we probably won't need this app again, unless we need to change to a different router in the future. So for now, choose classic. Then at the top left, tap file and tap open. The file selection screen will pop up. Each device looks a little different, but work mostly the same way. You need to select the drive called Dymo Wi-Fi. On this device I tap the three lines, and I can see Dymo Wi-Fi in the device list. And note it has the USB icon next to it as well. So this is definitely the memory card. Let's tap that. And now we can see the contents of the memory card. There's a load of files in here that we can ignore. We're just looking for the file called Rename WP. It actually says Rename WPA Supplicant, but the name is cut off because of the type of view that we have. It doesn't matter. Let's tap that file, and we can put in our router's Wi-Fi name and password. So for me, I need to tap right at the end of the E here. I've missed, so I'm going to hold down that selection and move it to the E. There you go. And I'm going to delete what's in there. Tap at the end of each of these. Delete the text that's between the quotation marks. 
but make sure to keep those quotation marks around your Wi-Fi name and around the Wi-Fi password. So for me, it's going to be capital letters, Netgear24, and then I'm going to tap at the end of the D here and delete the text that's already in there, turn my capitals off. And here we can see that the password is case sensitive, so we're going to type in S O M capital E M A D E capital U lowercase p and then uppercase P W 1 because everything is going to be case sensitive here. And that's exactly how it appears on my made up network card. Make sure you enter these exactly as they appear on your Wi Fi routers label or on the little Wi-Fi card that you get with some routers. Making sure that capital and lowercase letters are entered correctly too is extremely important. Once you've double checked that the Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password are correct and both still have their quotation marks around them, we can now press File and Save As. Here we type in WPA underscore which is that the line and then supplicant s u p p l i c a n t and then dot c o n f w p a underscore supplicant dot conf or c o n f we press save Oh, I've accidentally pressed my screen recorder. Let me just move that out of the way and press save. And it says file saved at the bottom. That's the important part that we want to want to see. And now we can exit from old school editor. Now let's open up file manager or my files as it says here. It's a little different on each device. Whichever icon that's installed on your device for browsing the files. So for me, it's called my files and it should look something similar to this. Each device looks a little bit different, but they, they all have the categories and recent files here, so you know you're in the right place if it looks something similar to this. And here you can see USB storage, and that's the one that we're gonna click on. Uh, but your device may also have SD card, external storage. You want to ignore those and choose the USB storage, because some phones have a memory card built in or some other different configuration. It might also say Dymo Wi-Fi in this list. It all depends on which phone you have. So let's select USB storage. And here we can see the same list as we had in old school editor, but it's laid out a little bit differently. There is the renamed WPA supplicant. We want to ignore that and we want to find the one that doesn't say rename. So for me, it should be down the bottom here. Yeah. Although depending on which way your device is configured, your WPA supplicant might appear towards the top. So we can see it's exactly how we typed it earlier on, except it now has dot text after it. And that's what we want to get rid of. So we just hold down onto it until it's selected, press the little dots and choose rename. And here we can see we want to tap at the end there where it says dot text, delete the txt and the dot. So the file ends dot conf, press rename it'll warn that we're changing that file extension. So just press change. And that's it. The file has been renamed and it should look how it appears here. WPA underscore supplicant dot CONF. So now we can exit out of my files or file manager if you're on a different device. And we need to safely unmount the memory card so that it's safe to unplug it. So here we can see the USB drive. So we just want to pull that down and press unmount and it says Dymo Wi-Fi unmounted so now it's safe to unplug it from the device some devices don't have the unmount option so feel free to carefully unplug the memory card reader from your device and then remove the memory card and insert it into your wireless adapter to know which way around you want to have this as the bottom and this as the top and you want to make sure 
that the logo of the memory card is the same side as this grill. And we put it in where you can see the little connectors there. And this one isn't like the memory card where it clicks in. It just pushes until it's a dead stop and you can feel it won't go in any further. And you can see there the top of the memory card holder. And you just want to make sure that those pins line up. Now we plug the wireless adapter into the Dymo Label Writer 4XL, making sure that the black part here is facing the printer. And we can also double check that the connectors marry up. As you can see here, the circular power connector is lined up with the circular power plug inside the Dymo Label Writer, and the square USB is also lined up as well. No excessive force is needed at all. It just slides in until this area is flush here. Next, we plug in the original Dymo Label Writer 4XL power cable into the wireless adapter and allow a few minutes to pass as it connects to your Wi-Fi network. Just a note, if you'd like to skip this step, we can put your Wi-Fi details in for you. Just drop an email after you place your order and we'll enter the details to save you the time. Let's move on to the final step. While your wireless adapter connects to the Wi-Fi, go to the Play Store on your device and search for Network Scanner. And download the app where the icon looks like this. The one where the developer is named Easy Mobile. And let's press install. And there you go. Once it's installed, open it up and the app will start scanning for your wireless adapter. Depending on how many Wi-Fi devices you have connected to your router, this list might be quite long. We need to scroll down until we find Raspberry Pi Foundation and make a note of its IP address. Here we can see mine is 192.168.0.13. Now that we know the IP address for the wireless adapter, let's go to our browser, I'm going to use Chrome here, and type in 192.168.0. and in my case 13, but yours will most certainly be a different number, and in some cases that 0 may even be a 1, so just make sure you copy whatever was on the network scanner app. So we type in that full IP address that we saw in the previous app and then we need to do a colon which on this keyboard will be in here. The colon is the two dots like what we see on a clock face not the semicolon which actually has a colon at the bottom as well. 192.168.0.13 colon 631 and here we can see the CUPS administration, which is inside the wireless adapter. I'm going to dismiss this Chrome advert. So to link the wireless adapter with the Dymo Label Writer 4XL, we need to now click on Administration, just here at the top, and then click Add Printer. You'll see a small message appear here for a few seconds, and then it'll automatically move on to the next step. Some browsers may warn you about the server certificate being invalid, this is because the date and time isn't set within the wireless adapter. You can safely ignore this warning. So for me on a Chrome browser, I click Advanced, and then I press Proceed To, followed by the IP address of the wireless adapter. Then we press Add Printer again, and it will ask us to log in. The username and password to use here is Dymo for the username, or lowercase, and the password is one, two, three, four, and sign in. And on this screen, 
we want to select the Dymo Label Writer 4XL. Make sure that there's a, a tick next to the Dymo Label Writer 4XL. And scroll down and press continue. And on this screen we tick share this printer. I've missed. There you go. They're very close together there. So make sure you don't press continue without ticking the share this printer button. On this screen, we don't need to change anything, so just scroll down and press Add Printer. Now we want to make sure the media size is set to 4 inches by 6 inches, it should look like this. Then I'd recommend changing the print density to dark. For me, it gives a clearer print, sharper contrast, which is good for postal label barcodes. And then we want to change the print quality to barcodes and graphics. And then we finish by clicking set default options. And that's it. You can now close the browser tab and print something from your gallery. So let's go to the gallery and select an image to print. So to print, let's press the options button and press print. Make sure the newly added Dymo label writer is in the printer list and that it's not set to the default save as PDF. Now, I've got several here because I've tested with several boxes previous to this. If your printer doesn't appear here, check out my other video which shows you how to download the Samsung Print Service plugin from the Play Store if your device didn't come with it pre-installed. I'll add a link to that in the video description. So we can see here highlighted is the IP address 13 for the Dymo Label Writer 4XL, and let's tap that. Make sure to set the page size to 4 by 6 inches, as we can see here the default has gone to A4, which wouldn't look very good. So let's select 4 by 6 inches, make sure everything else looks right, and then we can press print. If you have any problems at all, please feel free to get in touch and I'll get your wireless adapter up and running in no time. Check out the latest price via the link in the video description and if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to drop them below and I'll reply as quickly as I can. Thanks for watching.